Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's question comes from a homeowner who wants to know, I'm going to hire a maid service, and I want to know, am I supposed to provide my own vacuum and mop and cleaning supplies, or do they bring all that stuff with them, and what do you recommend? All right, that is a really great question, and it's a question probably everyone hiring a house cleaner has. So the answer is, if you have a vacuum and you have a mop that you're willing to keep at your house and let them use, that would be my recommendation. Because if your house cleaner just came from another house five minutes ago and they're coming directly to your house, if that last house had dog hair and cat hair and all kinds of dirt and debris, Even if they're rolling that vacuum around, it's picking up dust and germs that now they're bringing inside your house, even if they emptied that vacuum between that house and this house. So it's kind of hard to sanitize unless they're carrying two or three vacuums with them and they empty those out and pull all the hair out of the bristles and all that stuff every night. So if you have your own vacuum and you're willing to let your house cleaning person use it, that would be a great idea. You might even ask them, Is there a particular type of a vacuum that you think I should have? Because if you have an old 15-year-old vacuum, that's not going to be happy for anybody to use. Nobody wants to use that old heavy, clunky vacuum. So you may want to upgrade and get something that they recommend for a couple hundred dollars. Now you have a vacuum that you can use between cleanings, and it's the same vacuum that your professional house cleaner uses when she comes to clean your house. So everyone wins. As far as the cleaning supplies go, this is a little bit different situation. There are a lot of people that have been caught up by the hype of advertising. And so as you watch these commercials on TV, you see how amazing some of these cleaning chemicals work that are available on your grocery store shelves. And if you yourself are doing the cleaning, you can buy whatever cleaning supplies you want. And my suggestion would be let the house cleaner, the professional that you're going to hire to come into your house, let them bring with them whatever they want. And unless there's some really specific reason why you want them to use a particular chemical, don't even bring it up. Don't give them stuff and say, oh, well, hey, I heard that this new chemical works. Can you use it on my house? Please don't do that. The house cleaners that are professionals that are paid to come into your house They've gone through training. They spend all day, every day, cleaning granite and wood and travertine and onyx and brass and copper and ceramic tile and fiberglass and plastic and wood and wicker and a whole bunch of different surfaces. They know exactly what chemicals they're going to be able to use on your different surfaces in your house. And so when you come up and you say, oh, well, I I found this thing because of an advertisement on TV. You're throwing them a monkey wrench where now they have a new chemical that they don't normally use and they have no idea how it's going to respond on whatever it is they're supposed to use it on. And so if for some reason they use it improperly because they're not trained in that particular new chemical, they could damage the furniture or the flooring or whatever it is that they're using and then now somebody has to pay for that repair. So my suggestion is stay away, stay away from recommending detergents and solutions if you're not a professional and you have not been through the training. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, so-and-so is not using a, a green, environmentally friendly product, so I would like them to only use non-toxic products in my home. The truth of the matter is this, for the most part, for the most part, most professional house cleaners use non-toxic environmentally friendly green cleaning products. Here's the reason why. They're around chemicals all day, every day, day in, day out, month in, month out, year in, year out, and they're not going to use chemicals that make their eyes water and make them sneeze and give them allergies and make them pass out. They're not going to do that. Most of them have switched to environmentally friendly green cleaning type products. The exception to that rule might be if you have a really, really nasty shower that has all kinds of gunk and film and bacteria and gunk that's in it, they might have to use something really toxic to clear that out. And then once they clear that out, they can go back to the non-toxic stuff. But if you have a really toxic environment, they might have to use something really toxic to try to counterbalance that and to try to clean all the gunk out. 
But for the most part, for regular maintenance cleaning, they're going to be using environmentally friendly stuff. And the other thing that I have to mention is they do inventory every night. Every night they're going to restock all of their supplies. Unlike you, the homeowner, who might say, well, there's this much left in a bottle. Surely that's enough to clean my whole house. Surely it is not. And if your professional house cleaner comes to your house using your cleaning supplies and they get there and they're out of supplies, they're not going to be able to do their job properly. And they are not going to be happy and you are not going to be happy. So don't put yourself in that situation. They might charge you an extra $5 per cleaning or something for cleaning supplies. Take the deal. Take it. It's a heck of a deal. If you've tried to buy cleaning supplies recently at the grocery store, they're super expensive. Even the little Swiffer dusters and the little wipes that they use and the cleaning chemicals for the toilets and the tubs, and it's expensive. If somebody's willing to add that into the price of your cleaning, take the deal. Don't worry about it. Don't shop for that stuff. Let your house cleaner bring a full load of supplies every time they come. They know exactly what they need and they have exactly what they need and they have enough of it. And then when they leave, they did their job perfectly. They're happy. You're happy. Everyone wins. So do you provide your own supplies? Please don't. Please don't. No one wins when you do that. All right. Well, that's my tip for today. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.